Peace, peace. What's going on, guys? Uh, I just uh, want to make a, a very short video about Jordan Maxwell. Now, now I'm kind of late to this news. Uh, probably like a day or two day back, maybe one or two days late when I found out that um, the great legend, legendary scholar Jordan Maxwell made the transition. Now, I've been very familiar with the work of Jordan Maxwell. And uh, a lot of people don't know this, that, uh, you know, you know, Jordan Maxwell, you know, a lot, you know, he's not like known mainstream, but a lot of people don't know that within the black underground conscious circles, the particularly, you know, the black conscious circles dealing with uh, metaphysics and the occult. Uh, Jordan Maxwell was very known within that social circle, within that sphere. And that's uh, pretty much how I got familiar with his work because, you know, I remember back in the late 90s, early 2000s, when I first heard of, when I first heard of Jordan Maxwell, and uh, that's right. That's like around the same time when I was uh, listening to Bill Cooper, um, you know, the author of Behold the Pill Horse. And uh, back in the day, he had a radio a radio show uh, called called Hour of the Time. And uh, there was one particular episode of Hour, Hour of the Time in which uh, Bill Cooper invited Jordan Maxwell, and that interview is a classic i still have it on cd and um uh, and one thing about jordan maxwell he woke up a lot of people you know and uh especially when, when it comes down to uh the origin of religion the origin of christianity the origin of politics uh the symbolism behind uh the logos that we see everywhere you know, in, in commercialism, stuff like that. And as a matter of fact, uh, I, I need to uh, go back and dig up dig up a lot of my old uh, cassette tapes because even before I listened to that uh, interview with Bill Cooper, I have an old cassette tape somewhere. <laughs> it's probably like in a box way in the back of my closet. Uh, uh, Bill Cooper, I mean, uh, Jordan Maxwell, he did a, a radio interview about the origin of religion politics, which is a classic. I don't think anybody, I don't think, I don't think you can find it on the internet. <laughs> I don't think, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It was like a two-part cassette tape and how he broke down the uh, the origin of Christianity dealing with uh, sun worship. Uh, of course, if, if, you're, if you're familiar with uh, how Jordan Maxwell broke it down, you know how, like uh, back in ancient times, when the uh, primitive primitive man, you know, you know, they were like, uh, you know, they're like hunter gatherers. They're, they're like in the wilderness. You know, they had to uh, fit against predators, stuff like that. And during during the during the nighttime, and then when the sun rose in the morning, you know, that was uh, comforting. You know, the sun became like the prince of peace, the rising sun. And that's pretty much where Christianity gets the idea of, you know, the Son of God, you know, bring salvation and stuff like that. And uh, I mean, he broke down a lot of stuff, but I don't want to make this video very long. I just want to make like a brief video uh, about Jordan Maxwell and his influence. And, uh, and a lot of people don't know that he has like, a big black following also. A lot of people don't know about. And everything, but uh, when you get a chance, uh, if you're not familiar with Jordan Maxwell, Google his name, go on YouTube, watch his old uh lectures, watch his interviews. Yeah, uh, you know what I'm saying. Uh, there's a lot, a lot of uh podcasts out there. You know what I'm saying, and uh, he's a he's a guy that uh, he doesn't really get the props he deserves. You know, especially like within the occult realm, metaphysical realm, within that circle. You know what I'm saying? But uh, that's that's all I got to say. I just want to get that get that out. Uh, if you have anything we want to add, comment below. 
like the video, share it. And that's all I got to say. Peace.